What up, WHB? I'm Hannah Mankisa. And I'm Kim Barton. Welcome to this week's Hurricane Watch. So, KB, what are you doing this weekend? Want to go ice skating? Yeah, but I can't go 10 seconds without falling. Maybe we should ask an expert. What about Peter Sullivan? I heard he's a beast on skates. Let's find out more from Allison and Julia. Hi, I'm Julia here with Peter. Peter, how many sports do you play? Uh, two, maybe three if you consider dance a sport. And where are they? Uh, track and field, ice speed skating, and yeah, again, dance. If you were to pick any sport out of those three, what would you pick for the rest of your life? You had to do one. Probably dance because I can't spontaneously skate in the middle of camera or I chatter around, but I can do that anytime I want, so dance. I've been dancing since I was four, so 13 years. My parents are both from Ireland, so they got me into dance. I've traveled all around America, and then I've been to London and Manchester in England, parts of Ireland, and different parts of Scotland. I'm a British National Championship medal holder, an Old Scotland Championship medal holder, a five-time North American National Championship medal holder, a five-time Mid-Atlantic Regional Championship medal holder, and a four-time World Championship qualifier. Well, we practice about uh, two hours every day, um, and then we, we taper down the week coming up to a competition, and uh, we are, we're on a routine schedule leading up to a big one, like uh, came in fifth at Club Nationals last summer, and uh, this year we're shooting to win a national championship, maybe go on to Worlds. Did you know five of our seniors are already committed to college for sports? Yeah, signing day was in our library last Tuesday. Leah, Craig, Katie, Haley, and Ryan gave us an inside look at our star athletes. Last Tuesday on November 22nd, we got an inside look on our five seniors who officially committed to play a college sport. Hi, I'm here with Tristan Hogan. What college did you commit to? Portland. What are you going to play there? Lacrosse. Would you rather be a chinchilla-sized elephant or an elephant-sized chinchilla? I ain't nobody's pet. So I'm here with? Cat Hall. So Cat, where are you committed? Florida Southern College. So what do you play? Lacrosse. I got a question for you. Yeah? Where's the top of your head? <laughs> I'm here with Ben Osborne. And what schools are you committed to? Actually, I committed to two schools: Herkimer College for one year, and then transferring to the University of Tennessee. Ben, what sport are you playing? Baseball. And Ben, what is your favorite Australian outback animal? I'm gonna have to go with the koala bear. Fantastic. Hi, I'm here with Jessica Abrams. What college did you commit to? Wingate University. What are you gonna play there? Lacrosse. If you could be any bird, what type of bird would you be? An ostrich, because in some countries they erase them. It's so weird to think about ice skating when there's still so many leaves on the ground. Yeah, that's true. If only there was something we could do with all these leaves. For the past few weeks, West Ham Beach has been struck with a leaf epidemic. Now that it's December, it's time for leaves to make way for snow. Are you tired of breaking leaves? Us too. Think leaves can't be fun? Well, think again. There are tons of fun things you can do with leaves, like... Jump in the piles. Make leaf angels. Make a leaf man. Make a gift for that special someone. Hide and seek. And pillow fights. And after having all that fun, take a nice rest. Kaylin, oh my god, I love your vest. Thanks, I got it on Black Friday. I had to wrestle some lady for it. No big deal. Yeah, I heard it gets pretty rowdy. Megan, Casey, and Finbar took on Black Friday. Let's, Let's check, check it out. Out trying to find uh, Vineyard Vines, Patagonia, some good stuff. Someone got into a fight outside my store. I saw this lady holding a Brazilian shirt, walking through Nike, and rubbing it in everyone's face. A 16 year old man speaking Spanish came up to me, asked me if I knew who he was, and grabbed me and hugged me. I saw a woman with her son, and he threw up, so she just grabbed some napkins out of her purse threw it over the vomit and kept dragging him along. Some lady forgot her child in the store and then they had to call for her over the loudspeaker and she didn't come back for like 30 minutes. Well that was intense. That's all for this week WHB. Good luck to those taking the SAT tomorrow. Have a great weekend. We out. When I come to the clubs, the